Good morning. This is what I'm wearing. This shirt is from Forever 21. It's just a regular long sleeve and I have this made well shirt over it. And then I have on just American Eagle jeans and I'm going to wear some rain boots because it's supposed to rain. My necklace is from Vibe Season. It's so cute. And then I have just these gold hoops on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've posted so many videos and I've never introduced myself. So my name is Kayla. If you don't know who I am, I'm 23, second year law student in New York City. This channel is basically just gonna be me living my life as a law student and then whatever. Um, so if you're new here, please subscribe, share with someone, like, comment, up my engagement. I hope to be bringing you like better, longer content, better edited content. Um, there's just things I got to work on on my end. So this is my first week of school for the spring semester. And so I'm just going to bring you along with that. So that's going to be this vlog. So I'm home from school. It's 5.40. I've been here for like an hour. I've just been procrastinating, but now I'm hungry. So I'm going to make a snack and then do my work so that I can watch This Is Us with my mom later. I'm so excited. It has been on break for so long and now is the premiere. So I don't know what I'm going to eat for a snack. I don't know, but that's what I'm going to do. These things are amazing. And honestly, if you have the chance to try them, you need to try them. So good. They were like um, sold out for so long and they were discontinued. And then they brought them back. And when they brought them back, we bought like five boxes. And I'm pretty sure this is the last box. So I hope we can go back to get some more. They're from Trader Joe's. They're super cheap and literally all you have to do is put them in the oven and they taste like honestly the best one, best mac and cheese bites I have had, maybe ever. Delicious. Go try them. Good morning. Today is Wednesday and we couldn't like talk to you before because I was running a bit late. I'm having the hardest time like getting up in the morning. I don't know why. But anyway, it's like super warm outside for it being like winter. And I'm on my way to the train. kind of dark but that light that was on was like driving me insane so right now i'm running a little bit late not surprising but i'm gonna make some breakfast right now that i'm gonna take with me to go so, yeah. morning and it's freezing in here so this is what i got going on and i have a shirt under here this is real life struggles here <laughs> that's why i put a hat on today you know that right for the vlog yep what do you want because you didn't call kayla like i told you to 
No, she was not. Good morning. It is Saturday. I just woke up and it's like almost 11 and I'm gonna like I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to like film a little clip telling you guys like about my law school schedule like classes that I have taken classes that I'm taking now and just give like a little overview I'll probably do like a whole video at some point like talking about my law school experience like why I decided to go to law school and all that but right now that's what I'm doing I'm drinking some like iced coffee in this cup so Tiffany, this is for you. So I just wanted to like go through the curriculum that I have taken already in law school and what I am taking now. So in the first year, I had to write this down because I could not remember my classes. In the first year, I took contracts, criminal law, civ pro, civil procedure, property, torts, um, and legal practice. I feel like there's something else, but I don't know why I can't remember. And then last semester, I took race bias and advocacy, evidence, constitutional law one, and family law, and this other class that's like a test prep class. Anyways, for people who are struggling, because you know, I was struggling. So basically in your first year, you don't have any say of your schedule, what classes you have to take, all the same i'm pretty sure it's all the same like in all law schools it just maybe your classes like name something different in the second year you have more of a say but like not really because there's still like set classes that you have to take in order to graduate um like you have to take a writing requirement you have to take constitutional law you have to take evidence stuff like that but you do have a say in like your schedule itself when you take what classes and who you take it with so um this semester i'm taking constitutional law two because you have to take constitutional law for the whole year um and i'm taking corporations which is gonna be a struggle um a persuasion class and oh criminal procedure and professional responsibility so like in the summer i have to take a course i mean um an exam called the mpre which is basically a, an ethics exam so in order to practice law in new york i'm not sure about other states you have to take this ethics exam and you have to take a new york practice exam and you have to take the bar exam so you have to take them like all within a certain amount of time of the bar exam i'm not really sure honestly and so right now i'm taking that the class to prepare for the exam in the summer because i'm a second year second semester law student so after this semester i have only one year left so i am halfway through and that's really scary but yeah so basically um this semester like i have some things that i want to get done you know i want to be able to get an internship for the summer or a job it kind of depends because like for a second year students you can get like an actual job that you might be able to have like after you graduate like throughout the whole time or you can get an internship that could either pay or not pay so for me i want to work in public interest which basically means like nonprofit organizations or government agencies or the court or whatever and so typically those internships are not paid but my school has this thing where like um you can get paid if you do nonprofit. you just have to like apply for it or whatever so that's what i'm going to do hopefully i can get a job that uh will be like promising for the future because i really want to be able to get a job like before i graduate so last semester was um, basically my best semester so far um i feel like i was understanding more i was trying more i did better overall and there's so many 
factors that go into that and i'm sure like at some point i will do like a story time video about my law school experience and like the struggles that i had in my first year and how that worked out but i felt like i was doing better with being more consistent and trying harder and sticking to a schedule but with that being said there's still so many things that i could do better like i think that there is this tendency of law students to um, try so hard for school, like put all your energy into school and that you neglect yourself. And I know that you really should try your best because, you know, you're paying so much money to like get this degree and to get a job in the future that you really need to try. But at the same time, it's not something that's realistic to continue doing. Like when you get a job and if you end up having a family, you're not going to be able to just ignore everything else in your life to just like have um, to like perform well in your job. And honestly, like the more balanced you are in your life, the better you will perform in all areas. So I feel like there were some times where I would either focus on myself too much and neglect my studying or I would focus on my studying too much and neglect my health and whatever so like i at some points like i didn't go to the gym and i i'm someone who like needs to go to the gym because i have a lot of anxiety and i i feel like when when i go to the gym i'm able to focus more and i perform better and i feel better and so this semester i really want to stick with my like workout schedule do it like three times a week like nothing overwhelming nothing like seven times every day no i don't think i could do that but I really want to um, implement some more ways of being balanced. I want to be more disciplined. I want to be able to like do something and focus on only on that because I feel like I have a lot of trouble focusing on things. And so, yeah, I hope that this semester I get the best grades ever, that I continue to learn and that I just remind myself that, you know, it's it's only to do the best that you can and that if you're trying and you're really applying yourself then nothing is impossible so if you're in school i hope that you just go easy on yourself don't neglect your mental health don't neglect your physical health because in the end like the more that you focus on your body and your mind you'll perform better in school because you can't perform well if you're not like pouring into yourself like you just can't so um yeah those are my goals i hope that this was not all over the place and i hope that it makes some sense um i'm just like not in a very good mood i haven't been for the past couple days and so i guess that's why like my blog might be like a little all over the place and i'm still trying to get in the routine like last semester i woke up really early i had class at nine and this semester i basically have class from 11 to 4 every day and i don't know why i'm struggling so hard to like get up and like get to school but i really need to um get back into that so while i get into my routine like my vlogs will get better because i feel like i'll i'll just be more in a routine and it's also really difficult for me to remember to vlog when things are happening i still get embarrassed vlogging in public and i feel like people are staring at me but whatever no more excuses i am just going to try to be better it's all about the learning experience and i'm doing this because i'm enjoying it and i feel like i don't know i just like to do it so i hope to get better at vlogging i hope to get better at editing and giving better content because it's fun for me so i'm using it as my creative outlet so all that being said um i think i'm gonna end this vlog here i'm probably gonna edit it and so i could get it up so thank you guys so much for watching if you like it please um subscribe it's very important to subscribe like comment share with anyone um if you want to like let me know what your goals are for this semester if you're in school you could comment that down below or if you have any suggestions recommendations for me or anything um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video